Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. You know, something that a lot of providers uh, struggle with is medical math or drug calculations. And I thought it would be a good thing to kind of go over today is do uh, a simple infusion calculation here to sort of show you how, how easy it can be to do drug calculations and sort of give you a starting point on uh, how easy it is and something you can build upon to help build your confidence. But one thing I do want to say is that you should try to practice a little bit on this, especially if you are someone who struggles with drug calculations. Um, utilize your textbook, utilize study guides out there, utilize other websites to um, help you practice and be more proficient with drug calculations. I know practicing this skill isn't all that fun, but if you only tackle this sort of uh, skill set when you have a test coming up or something like that, it's not going to help you out in the field and it's not going to make you more comfortable with this. To me, drug calculations on an exam should really be a give me sort of question, right? It should be the question you get right every time because all it is is math. Right, so you should be getting that question right every time. You should not be guessing at those types of questions. That should be an automatic five points or two points or whatever it is on the exam for you. So practice and and be proficient in it. If you don't like practicing every day, who does, right? But maybe you maybe a month or so before the exam comes up, start practicing, start being more proficient in it, and getting more comfort comfort level in doing drug calculations. The good news is for us is that out in the field nowadays we have things like iPhone apps and Droid apps or calculators on our cell phones that enable us to do drug calculations much faster and I think much more accurately in the field. But what happens if your, your iPhone battery is dead or the app doesn't launch or your cell, or your cell phone battery is, is, uh, ends up dying or your calculator battery is dying? Whatever the case may be, you might have to revert back to doing it in your head or on a scrap of paper especially nowadays guys keep in mind that as technology advances we are held more accountable to what we're doing for our patients out there and one of those things is IV pumps a lot of agencies nowadays are moving away from that whole titrate to effect mentality and that even if you're just giving a saline uh, you know uh, infusion to a patient they want that hooked up to an IV pump and then the IV pump records, of course, how much saline the patient got. And if you calculated it properly, it's going to show up on that IV pump. And then that can come back to you if you're done incorrectly in the form of QA or QI. So just keep all that in mind, guys, um, that this is something that we have to be proficient in and something that we should be practicing in and not stressing over as much as a lot of us do. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to do just a quick... Uh, simple infusion here guys okay normal saline something we all use and in this case the doctor is asking you to give 500 milliliters of normal saline and he wants to give you want you to give it to the patient over 10 minutes and you have a 10 drop set okay 10 drop per minute set so how many drops per minute are you gonna have to give that's pretty much the, the baseline on this right so pretty easy but, but what's the formula for this well Pretty much for, for any fluid administration, not just normal saline, you are multiplying the total volume that's going to get infused by the drops per ml okay, um, of that administration set. And then you're going to divide that by the infusion in minutes. Okay, Pretty simple formula. Okay, Don't let it be any, any harder than it has to be. So you're going to multiply the total volume getting infused by the drops per ml and you're going to divide that by the time of infusion in minutes okay so what does it look like well pretty simple you're putting what you're going to be what you what you're going to be giving here which is the, the infusion times the drop set divided by the minutes so an easy thing you can do of course is just go ahead and and and, and cross out some like um, values here okay and then 500 times 10 divided by 10 what do you end up having pretty simple right 500 drops per minute right now of course you could even break this down further and get rid of the 10 and then all you're left with is the 500 right pretty easy to do that as well 
okay? Um, so don't let this be more complicated, guys, than it has to be. There are other things that might come into play and other drug calculations, milligrams, micrograms, all that. We're not getting into that right now, but I want to just give you this simple breakdown here to sort of uh, uh, build on this simple math and this simple infusion. And again, this can be for any fluid infusion you're going to be giving the patient. Now, basically, just to break it down a little bit more, okay, administering the 500 mLs times the gypset divided by the time in minutes. That's the basics of it, guys. Don't make it more complicated, right? Here's the basic math equation for that. 500 times 10 divided by 10. 500, okay? So as you can see, these equations, when you spell it out like we had on, the, on, the, on that first slide, right? looks a little confusing right but if you break it down to this or even the basic equation it can make the medical math much much easier okay so don't let it be more complicated than it has to be now when you get into things like micrograms and, and milligrams and grams and per kilogram and things like that it's basically the same it's the same math and you're going to be reducing those numbers as much as you can right to get your final result but it's still the same uh, math um, uh, uh, basics that you're gonna be going to okay now if you are somebody who struggles with this guys again practice your skills practice doing this there are websites out there you can you can you know, try to use um, even if you have an iPhone app or you have a droid app go ahead and plug in numbers in those apps guys Okay, plug in those numbers and see what the app is coming up with versus what you come up with if you do it by hand or you even just try to pop it in your head and do it in your head. Okay, I think by doing that you might find that it is a lot easier. Uh, just practice guys, get the feel of it, okay, and I think you'll be doing much, much better in no time. You don't want to be uh, fumbling around with this when it comes test time or when your patient needs it out in the field, okay. Um, one quick thing, guys, if you are struggling with this, uh, you feel like you're, you need some help in medical math to really master it, um, I did a uh, webinar a little while back with a friend of mine, Buck Ferris, and, and we talked about medical math, and some of the key points of this video session is, uh, you know, Buck really, really kind of focused into ending the struggle with drug calculations and, and how knowing one simple concept can really help your skills when it comes to drug calculations. Um, Buck talked about something called dimensional analysis, and it, don't let that frighten you guys because it really shows uh, how to simplify medical math, and it breaks it down so that you can just use one very easy formula that you can kind of plug in and use it for all of your medical math needs, okay? Go beyond that simple mem mem memorization. You don't want to memorize things like lidocaine clocks and stuff like that, okay? Get a concrete understanding of it if you are struggling with medical math, guys. Go beyond that basic stuff. Get a real good understanding of it. So if you're a student or you're a paramedic who's, who's struggling or you want to really master this skill, okay, check out this course. Click this Join Now button. Go get all the details on it. It's a, a video. There's an audio involved as well and some really good downloads to really help you with medical math. And I think you'll be uh, mastering this skill in no time if you check this out. So go check it out if you're having trouble trouble with medical math. And I think you will come on the other end of it uh, really understanding it. Okay, guys. All right, that's it for me. Um, if you have some minutes of your own, be sure to send them over to me. My email is jhoff at emsseo.com. I'd love to go ahead and put some Monday Minutes on that you like and that you're interested in here on the show. Um, until next week, as always, Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.